guys how is it going welcome back to another video on injustice to mobiles bill guide uh so guys in today's video i am going to show you guys the build for my new legendary character which is zatanna you know i bought her gears uh you know from special offers and uh, there she is you know i'm gonna soon take all the gears to level 60 and uh, eventually to level 70 uh for now she is a three star character and we're going to take a look at the build guide exactly what how you need to build this particular character and i'm going to show you guys the exact stats uh in the description as well you know what effects and what talents uh, you need to put in uh, on this character all right guys so if you're new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time i would like to ask you to please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this all right guys so uh once again this is going to be a damage dealer build you know and um, more focused on attack and fast attack chance uh so i've already set up all the gear effects and everything else so let's move on with the gears first uh so the first thing that we need on the gears is five attack stats okay so let's see if i have five attack stats there is one and make sure that you as i always say put in the rare effects it gives you extra stats that's why so there was one attack okay one two three four and five this is a common one let's re-roll it for a couple of times uh you know my luck actually when i'm re-rolling while i'm recording the video a uh, video is it's it's really good you know so Let's let's reroll it for a few times, like four to five times. Let's see if I can pull in a rare attack stat. If I do, it's great. If not, it's still okay because all the other attack stats are all rare. Eventually, I'll get the common one to attack soon. Uh, but yeah, let's reroll it for a few more times. No, lethal attack chance not gonna work. Our last couple of uh, rerolls, and there is defense, which we don't need, and critical attack resistance. So let's let's keep the rerolls for now all right guys now after five attack stats we need three critical attack damages so let's see if we have three critical attack damage i don't think there was a cad over here uh yeah i think it should be it should be here critical attack damage there is one we need two more okay this is fast attack i think there are all fast attack over here so that was one two and three so three critical attack damage five attack and we need four fast attack chance so three are over here so one two three fast attack chance and there is one over here you know which makes it four four fast attack chance so, so far i'm going to repeat it again five attack stats three critical attack damage and four fast attack chance now at the end the remaining three stats which should be there three effects is the defense so let's see if i have three defense i think i do so one is over here and uh, the remaining two i think it should be available on this piece of gear no i think it's on the third one let's see yeah two over here so those are your 15 gear effects make sure always that you put in the rare effects you know and so this is what you need to do with the uh, gears and these are the effects that you need to put in i'll put all these effects and chances um you know and in the description for you guys to be uh thorough before you basically start upgrading this particular character all right guys now uh moving on moving on to the talent section now i don't have all the six talents or the seven talents unlocked she's just a three-star character but what you need on your talent section is two critical attack damage one critical attack chance and three resistances okay three resistance one cac and one two cad so i have two resistances over here i don't need armor piercing so i'm going to re-roll it for a few times uh critical attack damage yes is it's exactly what we need but it's a common one you know so i'm going to re-roll these uh, talents for a few times you know try to pull in uh, something uh, rare or you know one of these uh, talents uh hero experience not not worth it they're just not worth it okay attack we don't need attack already have five of those on the gears 
lethal attack not necessary in this uh, on this character i'm a purist man come on it could have been something else ah your experience again four more you know what let's keep this as it is let's reroll this one critical attack damage we need two actually uh yeah i'm gonna keep re-rolling because i need a rare one ah come on yeah oh yeah we needed that resistance yeah my bad my bad i was too fast i missed it i i could have used the rare uh resistance uh, talent over here uh but unfortunate for me uh funny for you i unfortunately re-rolled it again i pressed the button again and it's gone it's gone in the wind all right guys so this is what you need to put and uh, if in case you have unlocked the seventh talent slot then you need to add 25 percent at least critical attack chance okay so i'm going to repeat the talents once again two critical attack damages one critical attack chance three resistances and if you have unlocked the seven talent slot then put in 25 percent critical attack chance and this character will be a beast she's already a beast now let me just show you guys the special abilities real quick i have upgraded a few of them uh, one it has a level for one is at level 40 one is at 30 and one is at 25 now let's take a look at this so you know the specials are not that important over here the passives are uh three percent opponent's current health reduction on every successful successful special attack maximum 30 percent health per opponent per battle so you can actually take 30 percent of health opponent's health per battle you know which is which is great uh, she can do percentage damage and she can actually increase uh, the damage for your other characters up to 300 percent so this is the best thing about this character and i think i think you know this is one of those character which is going to help you a lot even if you don't have the gears uh, you just need to find a way to survive uh, but you know i think if you have the gear the better it's going to be because uh, you know this character is not having a lot of health without the gears obviously she won't uh, she will die pretty quick all right then moving on to the next passive 75 percent chance to steal opponents one power bar with applying debuff and 45 percent team's damage for each stolen power bar stacks up to 300 percent that is exactly what i just talked about all right guys now moving on to the third passive which is obviously the first one which but, but i'm just reading it last so that's why it's the third passive all right 45 percent chance to increase active opponents cheapest special power cost by one power bar which is i think okay uh, plus four percent uh, damage from basic attacks reflecting back for each opponent's absent power bar this is this can help out sometimes uh minus five percent critical attack uh, resistance for each cumulated opponent's power bar okay this is not much actually but might come in handy when you are about to die or something uh in a minus seven opponent's defense on power drain okay this is nice opponent's power generation after accumulating eight power bars minus 12 percent max three stacks per each debuff so these will stack maximum three times each for each debuff so this is a great character guys you know if you have it it's great if you don't have it if you're looking forward to getting it please do that and uh, if you have any questions about the build please let me know in the comments and i'll be more than happy to answer it to you all right guys so you guys have a great day ahead take care of yourselves be blessed and stay safe have a good one guys Bye bye